time is stolen, time is borrowed. All I know is that I won't let you down if you're stepping out. Gabby Windy performed a foxtrot dedicated to healthcare workers during the first of two nights of Dancing with the Stars. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Shared News. We need to break down Gabby and Val's Foxtrot, but before we do, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any future videos. During tonight's episode of Dancing with the Stars, the stars were asked what their most memorable year is. During rehearsal footage, we see Val pose this question to Gabby, and she responds that it was actually 2020 when she was working as an ICU nurse at the beginning of the pandemic. She said what was even harder than treating her patients was seeing that their families and friends were unable to come to the hospital, but said that none of her patients died alone and that that was her job as their nurse. The two performed their foxtrot to the song If the World Would Ever Stop and donned matching all white outfits. Now this just seemed so lyrical, so smooth, so effortless. And I wasn't the only one to think so. Not only did the audience immediately rise to their feet and give a huge round of applause to the couple, the judges were actually just as impressed. Carrie said it was beautiful that Gabby was stunning. She thanked her for all of her help during the pandemic as an ICU nurse and just had a slight critique that she wished Gabby would just let it go, let it flow out of her and really just give it her all in future performances. Len said that the dance had lovely lyrical movement and had effortless ease, which again is exactly what I saw. The turns were beautiful. She was completely in sync with Val. And Derek just said it was gorgeous. He got straight to the point. Everyone was on the same page. It was gorgeous. And Bruno commented on the relationship between Gabby and Val, saying that the trust that Gabby has for Val was magnificent and that he was just in awe of the full performance. When the couple went upstairs to talk to Alfonso, Alfonso asked Val what he thought Gabby's greatest strength was. And Val responded that he thinks it's her ability to make people laugh and to make situations better. And while that might be seen as kind of a shallow or superficial quality, he assured viewers that it has made all the difference during his rehearsals with Gabby. Gabby also did a quick shout out to her parents who were in the audience sitting next to her fiance, Eric, and former bachelorette, Rachel. And Val took the moment to take the microphone from Alfonso and thank her parents for their military service. So not only has Gabby served us during her time in the hospital, her parents are both veterans, and so we just need to give them all a huge round of applause. I was on the edge of my seat for their scores because Gabby had said in her interview portions that she's really hoping for that first 10. Last week, she was in a three-way tie for first place on the leaderboard and really needs that 10 to push ahead from the competition. However, I was a little disappointed that the judges ended up giving her the same score as last week, four nines for a total score of 36. So we'll have to keep watching. Maybe tomorrow night will be the first time that Gabby is awarded with that first 10. But I'm curious to know what you guys thought about Gabby and Val's Foxtrot or even just about Gabby's interview moments talking about being an ICU nurse during the pandemic. Put your thoughts down in the comments below. And before you go, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on any future videos. I'm your host, Allison Van Dam. My social handle is on the screen right now if you wanna come say hello. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.